Okay. Now, I've never used this brand before. It's actually Craftsman. Uh, and they are reversible. If I remember how here. Switch the tabs. Squeeze down on the handles. Pull the tabs. Release the handles. It can do inside and outsing. <laughs> inside and outside snap ring pliers from a 90 degree angle straight on with or without the holes so Let's see if these will even Yeah, they'll fit on this. I gotta adjust one of the tips here. I don't know what's a good snap ring plier, what's a bad. I don't know. All I know is they are usually and I mean usually a pain in my ass I'm just trying these because I have them on hand Okay, and again, I apologize for the camera angles, but um, after putting the correct tips in the uh, snap ring pliers, and with the help of a pick, I got the damn snap ring off. So. Rear output shaft is is, uh, is out of there. I'm going to remove <laughs> another snap ring here. Oh, these are pretty cool. Better than the ones I've used before or that I've tried, but that's a rear output shaft. Set all the innards aside. There really isn't much left on this casing except for the parking power here. Remove that spring. There's the parking pole. Doesn't look to be damaged. The pin. And a one way clutch assembly. Or I should say one of them. Those were torqued down. So, and yeah, I should have a much bigger breaker bar. But my array of tools is sitting in the back of someone else's car. So, and I don't have that car with me.
put my hand on the inside to catch the assembly. thing I have to do here to get this little e-clip take the parking paw actuator off Lots of e-clips and washers on this bitch. That's pretty much it.